Can you say it? You can do a count down, count count down, as you say in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> I will do the countdown. The countdown. Three, two, one, go. We actually? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that was it. Yeah. Not about the <laughs> that, 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 that was the countdown. Yeah. Sorry, go. computer yeah. entertainment you represent. Away we go. Oh, I won't probably put that. March, March Simpson did the countdown. Oh, that's. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> 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 instead of instead of homie, it's Sony. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll play trash bash if you're sweetie bye. <laughs> yeah. uh, we should we should probably introduce the uh the, the race so yeah, here we have yeah, Bubble Dink. Let's go back on top. Yeah, b- b- yeah does, Bubble Dink is money That's this uh, legendary game deed introduction though. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, the goals. yeah exactly. Game. Yes. I, I love this game. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Sounds legit. Nice. Oh, yep. Okay. So he cloned himself. Nicely done. You didn't call him Midi Midi uh, Mestro or something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Midi, I'm and, very uh, quiet of you. <laughs> yeah, uh, and the goal is, of course, to uh, so you are getting all the trophies in the third warp room. Uh, is that correct? correct? Yeah. So that will require. Um. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah. Um. Well, Gary and I and Smudgy did do a oxide percent race, which took about three and a half hours, I think. Um, How many times yeah, did you was... do? I really died. Oxide should be easier. Oh, like, like five or six times or some shit. Yeah, I died a lot. <laughs> That's the, the, legit That's a strat. It is. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's actually such a good difficulty tuning system in the game. <laughs> like, it's the same exactly. as the X Files 3, weirdly enough, I think. <laughs> and yeah, for some reason, it's oh. really not from Oxide. Oh, oh okay. Buddy, yeah. the, 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 ball, the ball went into Dingledale's net, but the uh, point counted for me. Fantastic. Thanks, Crash Bash. Nice. <laughs> the RNG's on your side. <laughs> yeah, it turns out this is the Crystal Challenge the whole time. Oh yeah, this is basically it. Yeah, well, I, I mean, this is kind of RNG, the game. Like, anything that can happen will, basically. Including me sucking. <laughs> yeah, it's like an endurance test. Um, So on that note, like, for those of us who have played the game, well, what... We'll- what would you say is the best um type of like gameplay in this game? Bash. <laughs> Loading yeah, screens. It's the only one that makes sense in my mind. <laughs> oh, like the type of level. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you okay, like why the do painter. you have eleven? Oh my gosh. Yeah. The painter. I'm already are regretting my life choices. <laughs> the pogo stick one's alright though, because it, I feel like it's yeah. something Crash would have done in the earlier games anyway. So. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean with that. Yeah, no. Nah. Um, I can't. I don't know. I really like the the last warp rooms challenges. Like, I like. I really like that one where you throw the gem at the target. That's a lot of fun. And I like the one where you hit the mushroom and you get points. Oh, the medieval and... mayhem. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, right. I, I really like that. Those are awesome. <laughs> yeah, they're actually really a good like reward. That. that I'll give the game that for. Yeah, because um, yeah, because those ones like each game is different from each other. It's only the aspect yeah. that's the same. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, sorry, Roger, you were saying uh, there. Yeah. Yeah, I I think that was a problem with the game. Like, I love the RNG part of it. You kind of like take a leave it, but like, it's really the monotony. It gets a bit monotonous. It certainly does, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's um yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Um I kinda like the racing levels bizarrely. If you yeah, kinda know same. how if you know if you know the tech, it, it becomes like a lot of fun. If you don't, I, it's I, not fun I, at all. I too enjoy breaking the share of them. I uh yeah. yeah, they're very easy to break, but I, I've played boss yeah, yeah. crash racing games. Oh, I remember as a kid I used to always have yeah. trouble with Toxic Dash. 
Yeah, because of the yeah, yeah. yeah. For yeah. some reason, the other two, the, the two that come after, aren't so bad to me. But that one, yeah, the real one. I mean, it, the, there was a bit of like, like kind of childhood fear as well because the thing is a big monster. Yeah. <laughs> Just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all oh, right. Yeah, right. Oh, were you afraid of the uh, toxic monster uh, when you were a kid, Casey? That, was that what Lucas was implying? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, it, it didn't bother me, but um, now for me, it was actually um, oh. the barrels because you have to fucking maneuver around them, but they have a pretty gotcha. big hitbox. Yeah, they do. Yeah, it's yeah, it's annoying. Um, I, I guess on actually, oh shit. What well, what? That's the fourth warp room. Okay, cool. I can talk about that because I was gonna actually say what the strat is, but then I. Re- Do you know what? I'm not gonna say anything because you could use the same thing for dot dash. So I'm just gonna show my mouth because it could be coaching. So it's just never mind. <laughs> Ignore me. Um. Anyway, so uh, let's have a gander at the streams. Uh. Okay. So we have. I've uh, already Rodri. had uh, one fail. So. <laughs> I see. Someone crash boat. Okay. So, so, someone. Uh. Someone do a, a fail counter. How about that? Oh no. I honestly that question has been answered. It's a crapshoot. I mean, it is it's a crapshoot yeah. though, like because yeah, it gone. really does depend on because yeah, there is skill involved in, in this game, but there's a lot of luck as well. And like, if you look at the exhibition race, me, Toonie, Psychic, and Garion, like Garion had a really bad time. I think with just RNG with like Crash Ball, and he just got like a really bad break with like the the CPU just being way more OP than it should be. Whereas like I think I got a little bit more lucky. So yeah. Uh, so as far as who was going to get the first fail, I mean, who knows? But it's it's muddy. But I mean, <laughs> I mean that could have been anyone really. So yeah, nah, it's it's a tough one. My my favorite way to break the game is um, when, when Telpanic were pretty much the, the best way to win that one is to get a lightning strike, and then just wait for them to fall, fall off themselves because they're tilting. <laughs> Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, forgot. What, forgot you like yourself. Yeah, yeah, because it's like that's literally one of the challenges, isn't it? I think not getting hit by that. Okay, can you calm down? Holy, you die anyway when you get hit back. <laughs> oh, oh, you're both in the same sort of bit. Ugh. <sighs> Then you oh, but, do that again. oh, but Roger's doing the, the gem. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. I, I am not doing any of the Crash Ball gems or crystals. Because uh, screw that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I think you were just saying that there about Tilt Panic, weren't you? Yeah. No, I was saying about how. Yeah, like if you the, get the lightning. The, yeah, the easiest yeah. way to wait is to get to win that one is to get a lightning and then wait yeah. um, and then watch. I think that's what. Himself. Yeah, I think that's what Roger's going to say. Like, is like the items and stuff like that. Like, you know, you yeah. know. when you can do it, of course. <laughs> Which usually requires feeling five more times. Oh god. Oh really rude. Come on, come on. When is Oh it, it made the sound effect of the ace breaking, but the ace didn't break. He doesn't even know how to like he doesn't even know how oh, to attack. No. Oh. Oh that was lucky. Oh hit that bomb face. Uh, okay. that, yeah, no, oh, gosh, gosh. Isn't that just the general experience of the game? It's, it's not the Crash Pass experience otherwise. Casey and I tried to do a co-op of it re- uh, like a few weeks ago. You uh, did? Was lot, there was a lot on getting that. Uh, five months ago then. That's a few weeks ago. And uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it didn't go well. <laughs> Well, I suppose it is a few. It is weeks ago. It's just like you know, like I don't know, like sixteen to twenty weeks ago. I suppose. <laughs> and dog years. Oh, what the hell? Is- what was that? What the fuck? <laughs> just watching Rodri scream. That was. Yeah. That was hilarious. Like that- oh, yeah, that's that's that fail now. No, it's like on, in our co-op, like we were doing pretty well, and then we got to embolism. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's fucked. Yeah, embolism is fucked. Yo. <laughs> And that is I wish we could be here for the. Yeah. 
I wish I could be here for the entire race, by the way, just to inform the folks at home. Good job, uh, Rodri. Uh, I fortunately have to go in like maybe like 10 minutes. Uh, that, well, I, I can't come back for like the rest of it. Let's just go on for like another like uh, 90 minutes or something. I won't be able to <laughs> rejoin. I, have I, mean, I wouldn't be before. remarkably surprised if we do. <laughs> yeah, by, the time like, bag- by the time you're back, then toe panic. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But I did want to uh, just say join for the forest park because I am uh, uh, a crash bash aficionado, if I'm quite honest. Like Gary and I both were big fans of uh, the game. So, yeah, like, I do. I do unironically like it. That's not a joke. Like, I actually do. I do no, like the no I'm the same. I actually do like a lot as well, but it's obviously it's on a certain oversights. Yeah, they're yeah, right. Well, like, the plan of relic tech. tech. Yeah, on its own merits, I do like it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like if they just fixed the fucking platinum relics, then you know that that would be grand. Because some of some of it's bullshit. Like, yeah, right. Like, because obviously, you know, like I mentioned before, like I think I've I've two hundred percented it two times with Koala and then Brio. A nice Rodri. I love doing that when they have the weight and then they like do that. Uh, yeah, I'm watching your screen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was great. Good, good, good strat there. Um, but yeah, like, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, nah. So I've I've done that with both of them, and and what I can say is that the platinum relics, some of them are fine, others are just total bullshit. Like, like I think it's like tilt panic, or it's tilt panic, or melt, not tilt panic, or melt panic, or whatever. The the panic levels are bullshit. Uh, for the platinum relics, hate them. Yeah. Um, I think it's I think it's you jungle. F- oh, it's it's the one with the totem pole that jumps down. Yeah, jungle that's bullshit. Folk, yeah. That's fucking bullshit as well. Platinum relic wise, like the tanks are bullshit because they all just go and attack you. Like it's just like yeah, fuck yeah. off. Like it's like the old gang, <laughs> just... up, gang up on the human. Right, right. It's fucking bullshit. I hate it. <laughs> so yeah, that's bullshit. Um, but yeah, that aside, you know they're they're. Really, they're fine. Embolism's bullshit. Um, Skyball's crystal is bullshit. Uh, so there is some bullshit kind Pogo of flow around, but for the most part, yeah. Pogo padlock crystal, not a big fan. Yeah, that's terrible. Terrible. Yeah, totally oh, agree. Um, yeah, Skyball's crystal. I remember I did a playthrough of this like over the, the summer, and it took me, uh, took me like. It took me several sessions over, I think, three or four days, and I think I spent a total of like, I don't know, like three or four hours trying to get the skyball crystal. And then, yeah, exactly, because I was getting really angry. Sorry, Roger, continue. What's going on? Oh, okay, fair. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say, like, I'm watching your stream. You seem to be doing pretty fine. So, I'm with so the <laughs> uh, yeah. The classic, yeah, self depreciative Brit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he kind of does. Yeah, it's it's true. Yeah, um, now nah, good stuff. So it looks like Rodri's ahead of uh, Muddy at the moment. So, um, Muddy's just started in the pogo oh, level. Well, Rodri, on your stage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Rodri is one trophy in. So, yeah, he's about about maybe 70 to seconds to a minute ahead then because you can kind of calculate it via the timer so <laughs> in the levels so yeah yeah i did go and get the uh, gem in the uh the polar panic but ah i see did you get the gem there uh rodri okay so technically speaking i guess that could mean that Muddy's ahead interesting okay yeah. interesting. i think uh rodri got the gem in the uh a ball one though so yeah, i think did. we're even for collectibles yeah. yeah you're even yeah my bad yeah yeah because he did that's correct grand okay cool yeah. but so yeah because these last had to get collectibles right, the... as well just so you know yeah Great. on the fail yeah. counter i think that uh i'm leading in fails three to one so yeah it's out the x Checking AFK this now. Uh, it has some of design choices. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rillaroo just turns around and Rillaroo just says some random shit about Jerry Garcia or like <laughs> Mr. Tap shit. Water. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. When it's tail time. <laughs> I heard that discussion, by the way, about the, the fucking tap being spite. Like, what's that? All about? <laughs> Yeah. Well, what about what about the taps? Well, yeah, because I watched the get I watched the get submission news, and uh, you talked about like, like yeah. there's a subreddit about the fucking taps. The taps were in his house were actually 
Spike, that's the only right. explanation for why yeah, you drink yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you watched that because yeah, I had no idea what that is. Yeah, so just to explain to the folks at home, in, in the game Gex 2, Gex turns around and he often says like random shit before beginning a level. And one of his lines is, um, note to self, don't drink the tap water at Jerry Garcia's house. Jerry Garcia is a famous guitarist of the Grateful Dead. And he at that stage, he was dead because uh, he died in 1995. And I never understood what that, because I knew that Jerry Garcia was like, a drug addict, but I never understood like why do you not drink his tap water? Like how can he yeah, like why put, has tap water yeah. yeah, yeah, why well, exactly like just because he like does drugs doesn't mean his tap water is bad. <laughs> like it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like <laughs> so because yeah, like unless he lives in like Flint, Michigan or some shit, there's a bit of a deep call, but yeah, nah. Uh, but th- that's anyway, I'm not gonna get into that, but yeah, so that's what that was. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, Jesus, uh, but see, yeah, I'm, I'm funny you watched that. Yeah, that was that was that was gas. This oh, is man. like in the planning rail, get crash bash's house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, oh man, yeah, there's yeah, I don't remember that line, you're but, yeah, you probably yeah, you're a comms <laughs> house, Mark uh, Cerny's get, get, house, get gex is a fan of them. Um, his epic gamer lines. Oh. Yep. Oh, it, oh, interest, interesting. In uh, Rillaroo and Dingo Doyle have a slight advantage in the pogo levels. They move at. Uh, it's like one millisecond. Something like. <laughs> yes, one millisecond faster. <laughs> that's, the, that, that's the great bit. It's just Rillaroo, not Dingo Doyle yeah. and Rillaroo. Just Rillaroo. Oh, of course, like oh, they favor their oh, eyes, baby. Oh, Rodri Clutch. Did you see Koala Kong saved you? That's crazy. <laughs> Did you see it? Because Koala Kong got that box and took it away from Rilla Roo. That's mad. Ooh. Yeah. That's it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Good shit. That was 10 slides. I could do it if I drink of tap water. No, no, <laughs> not, not, not tap water in Scotland. Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. Yeah, just... just... Yeah, th- not not Jerry Garcia tap water. Just be be careful of that name, uh, Casey. Yeah, um, Grandpa. I, sadly, I have to to vacate the call. As uh, I, I said, vacate the call. I was I like that's something that Gary and my <laughs> Gary might say something yeah. like that. But uh, yeah, I wish you the best of luck in the rest of the run. I really can't wait to see the vod go up. I think it's going to be uh, yeah. Uh, go, thank go, you. Go. No, no problem at all. So yeah, cheer, cheer, lads, and uh, yeah, good, uh, good to chat with you, and then the uh, best of luck. Yeah, best of luck to you too. <laughs> See, I've had some tap water. That's what happens when you when you're like. <laughs> I know, like the idea of someone going up and hey, uh, do you have any tap water? Set? Uh, uh, I was going to sell you some, but it's not guy mode enough. <laughs> well, I get that case of Bushy Racing. It was pretty good, good commentary in that. Actually, I was quite impressed. What? What? Wasn't nice. wasn't wasn't using springs like a uh, substitute for poker hurt your feet? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, at least he's wearing shoes, so he's fine. Like Kong, like. Kong, like... <laughs> what do you mean? Like they probably like stuck it in his in the sole. That, that's why Kong Kong appears appear so well in the fan jars because he's too busy just taking them out of his fucking feet. Oh yeah, he's clearly getting the... little plasters for his clearly does do uh, leg day. Toes. It's like for Kong's like man, I wish I wasn't oh, such a dumb motherfucker. I, I'm looking at the one that Muddy's doing right now. That's not too bad that one, but. Oh. Yeah, this one's at least quick if you do it properly. <laughs> I, I imagine this game was like a lot of kids' origins to the concept of RNG. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, for me, it was it was actually re- resin Gex, but this came so. <laughs> no. Yeah, hit true. Me, hit me at 30, and there's a chance I'll get RNG. Also, like, you know, the thing is, RNG in the game, you don't even notice it as well. It's kind of. I don't know. <laughs> oh, but you notice it in this game. Yeah, because it's like the main gameplay mechanic. <laughs> it's like it's like when it's like when you play a game and you have all these bosses that have these like really fancy and cool attacks and yet the boss ends up being the hardest one is the one that just brute forces his way through you. Well, it's because like I've been playing this game for years and like I thought I would get better at it as time went on, but I didn't. And I wonder why that was. And, and then like as I started to learn more about like I don't know, programming stuff, I guess. Uh, and then I realised it was all to do with the way the game was built, like it built on this system. Which, like, kind of, you have to expect the unexpected, basically. That's like me in real life, alright, lads? Yeah, well... <laughs> well, I, I, get, I get... Yeah, I guess in the cyber chase race. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, yeah. I just realised that. 
I, I just realized I don't, I don't think I even answered my own question from earlier. Your own question, what was that? Yeah, I remember I asked, like, oh, what's your favourite type of game? I don't even think I answered it myself, so I'm, I guess I'll answer it now. I'd probably say my, I'd probably say my favourite is a tie between the bash and bullshit aside the tank. Um, because at least the tank is kind of like the bash. Where the Ingo Dow, you goes. asshole. The tank actually has oh, like, yeah, no. just be the show of each other. The tank actually has nice graphics, to be fair, as well. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's probably the, the big reason why I like that yeah. one. Uh, okay. The rest of them like kind of have this like, okay. like very like indoor sort of aesthetic what kind of does bore me after always like that one's outdoor quite like that indie kickstarter indoor <laughs> but my accent makes so like if you pledge to our place you will create a background okay you are definitely one crystal ahead of me now I'm I, see, I, I know Rodri like I think Rodri actually uh, said he's pretty good at this game actually like it's the Possibly his best crash game, actually. I'm going to crash rush now. So, you were very lucky you didn't get Yoga Monu in your group, that's all I'm saying. Well, I, mean, I'd, <laughs> I mean, to be good, this game, I'd, I'd say Arsenal, I know, so. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I suppose it would help if you have um, uh, emotional investment pens up. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, um, embossing is absolutely unbearable instead of being most unbearable. Yeah, I think you could actually pin a lot of the issues in the game on that one level in a funny way. And um, crystal pogo padlock. Yeah, at least that's later on in the game. Also, yeah, that's, that, that's true. Slack. Yeah, but that's kind of like um, embossing shows up a little too early for my liking. It should yeah, have been in the that's kind of like <laughs> what we were talking about the other day about. When, when you asked me, oh, what do you think is the most bullshit aspect of a uh, cyber chase? And I said, I'd probably still go for the line because at least with Egypt too, like, yeah, it, it, there's no excuse in the bullshit now, but at least that is the second last, like, world. So at least you expect it to be hard at that point, even though it's still bullshit and like, not excusable. But if the, the line is like, there's no excuse for a boss that I've been so early on. If I do um, do that exhibition race with uh, Gary uh, in a Rockman 40, uh, then <laughs> Connor, luck, Connor will be challenged with the sandwiches, so it will have some relevance eventually. Ah, good stuff. One of my favourite things to do in um, Crash Bash is to go to into Space Bash, uh, destroy all of the platforms, and then just watch the eye show itself and do nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this happens, that happens a lot. Like, I think, I think, um, Marcus tried to do it in um, Snow Bash or something like that. He tried to get the AI to go into the Nitros and I think the Crystal Town or something like that. And he just wouldn't do it. Like, he just wouldn't do it for the life of him. <laughs> and then another thing as well is, like, sometimes, like, they, they tend to jump in the pit. Yeah, it's weird how, like, you know, all, all of why this game is hard is because of the AI, but it's not because the AI is smart. <laughs> More ju- just the fact they just, like, spirit force its way through. No, I, <laughs> the AI can make up, can't make up its mind when it wants to be good. <laughs> That's the difference. Yeah, more or less. I mean, look, like, there we go, like, Tiny Tiger, like, decided to go into a wall there. Man, that was good enough. Yeah. GG Tiny. That's the thing as well, like, you notice as well, like, Muddy was, like, trying to get a good set of, um, uh, competitors. They kept going back, you know. To try and see which ones would like generate so yeah. that makes a lot of sense. I, I just wanted Rilla for the memes, <laughs> but it wouldn't give me Rilla. Instead, you got Dingle Down, yeah, <laughs> who doesn't have as wide of a face, yeah, he doesn't have um, um, gobstopper cheeks, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Gobstopper cheeks, we'll go with that. He's really enjoying that uh, time busters bubble gum. And unfortunately, like, I know somebody's actually got the name Gobstop or something. <laughs> Is it even weird? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I was reacting to what happened with Coco there, and obviously not Roger's screen because he doesn't have Coco. You fail. Oh, did that, did that get added? That's a fail counter. It goes to the counter. <laughs> Please. Oh, I barely won that! Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, I like how f- throughout these two, like um, 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 uh, that both footage, like almost every card is present except Crash. That's the way it should be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, and um, I guess Rio as well. That's the way it should be to to be um, 
I like Edge, I guess. This is like um, Garfield minus Garfield. It's like Crash, Crash minus Crash. It might be suicide trying to do this. Not crystal, Garfield, but let's try. Oh yeah, no. One thing I like about the crystals is, is like you do get different backgrounds. Yeah, I like how the environment yeah. changes with the yeah, I gotta move. <laughs> it's, like, move it's, a they, it's a shame they didn't do that for every single yeah, challenge. Yeah, <laughs> the budget ran out. Yeah, it was an I interesting think, creative decision. I think it. I I chalk up to just like this game being kind of monotonous, and they wanted to like kind of spice up a bit. That's my only reason for it. But the funny thing is, like, I, I don't know what the significance of it being night is specifically. It's like, is, yeah, we just night. is it implying that times pass so no, implying significantly that by, by, the by the time you got By the time you've completed this game, it's night. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> There'd be some effort about time. <laughs> A game theory. Uh, okay, that gave me way less trouble than I was expecting. Good. <laughs> yeah, because because you got you got a good one that time. <laughs> yeah, no, the the nitros were actually pretty spaced out when they were getting oh. flung. I also like how like the creativity between the cross challenges like is like as good as the game because you have some it's like oh you have to dodge all these nitros while you find them and the other ones is like you can pick up crates. Wasn't there a neutral ending in this game? Because I think I was telling um, tell Mark. Um, um, if, if you're doing two player and you beat the game with one, with, yeah. with one good and one yeah. good character, you then have to do a tie a, a tiebreaker. Um, <laughs> what was the tiebreaker? Uh, it, it's, it's, um, it's, it's actually just a bash game. Um, <laughs> it's like um, it's like it's like a chessboard arena. It's like there's no there's no gimmick. It's just like balls to the walls, you know. Beat the share of each other. It's like it's not. You've have to do it three times. I, I think it's like one and done. Like sun, sun death. What like Smash um, Bros? Yeah, 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 yeah sun death exactly. and Smash Bros. Yeah. And like whoever wins that determines if it's a good or evil ending. Oh, oh, that's so stupid, but so, in a great way. So basically, if one if one of them's players tiny or Kong, they've already won. The oh, law that makes me laugh. It's just like, like it just kind of like. Why did they go to so much effort for something that might not have even happened in most the first people, place? Yeah, most people probably won't even see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, friends. it's like um, it's like those old GBA wires, like you know, you know how you could like, yeah, like connect them to like Rafa Cortex yeah. and can, we could, yeah, you could play like the sh the shit shooting mini game. <laughs> All two of them. Yeah, yeah like, for some reason, Papu Papu puts up more of a fight here than he did in Crash 1. <laughs> yeah, really yeah. Does. Although, to be fair, like, part of that is because he, like, sends out Clash phones. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, like, now you'll see my phone. Uh, you, said, you said Crash wasn't wasn't in this, so he has now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Papu Papu rectified it by creating his own fan characters. But he's, like, red. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, um, no, he had to change it because of copyright. Yeah. <laughs> Like Thomas Dark Engine. Yeah, they had issues with their own games copyright. Yeah, I think you, 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 Universal could only like handle so much exposure of the Bandicoot in this game. Hence why it was called Bash and not Band Bandicoot Party <laughs> or something like that. Crash Bandicoot, or, or Crash Bandicoot Car yeah, Crash Bandicoot Carnival, Carnival, as it was in Japan. Yeah. Oh yeah, I thought this was genius when like <laughs> he kills himself. <laughs> and you guys see his like crushed body. Yeah, I always thought it was like yeah, I always thought it was looked a bit graphic. It was like I know we don't, you don't see any blood <laughs> from, but because you, you, look, you can see him up just a little bit. It looks like he's actually like that was, that was the era of hardcore games. <laughs> yeah. It didn't shy away from a oh, bit of nice um, didn't shy away from a bit of bodily harm to the to the villains. To yeah. <laughs> the natives. Yeah, I think it sticks out more because all the other bosses, are like uh, okay, the the bear there just kind of slumps over. Well, like the other bosses just explore like everyone else in the game. Oh yeah, that included um, the, the the brothers as well. Yeah, the brothers. Oh, you, you mean home and Bart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the beta they go home and Bart for some reason. <laughs> yeah, this is this is actually. Where the game starts to pick them difficult, in my opinion, it's right Shockingly. here. Actually, yeah, yeah. 
just because of this one new mechanic they had. Yeah, I think um, when I first played the game as a kid, I think I think this this level's got my first roadblock. Yeah, same. And then I think yeah. yeah, I think El Pogo Loco yeah. was the second one for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the third one of Rapper. Yes. The one in this the one in this wall pretty much Bogo a Bogo. Pogo a Gogo. Yeah. The, only, the only thing about Pogo a Gogo is like it, it makes it look like you have to be in a specific yeah, it's, it's colour not, yeah, of the not, map mm-hmm. because like you see the colours changing, but it's like, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't actually matter. It doesn't actually do anything at all to my knowledge. I'm, yeah, because that's that's the only yeah. one where it doesn't have the bubble crates. Yes. And because that's only the second one that shows you a lot of key. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Quite cool or something like that. I always liked how in the Pogo games, because there's like yellow, red, blue, and green, it's like I, the Super Nintendo. I guess you could call it a guiding sort of thing. Like it guides you a little bit, mate, potentially, because like, so many of the causes on the, the ground already at that point so it was like, oh, you can get yeah, you can do your like pipe yeah, here. I think it's yeah. meant to be like like a corner, like oh there's half the corner done for you already or something. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I can see it being like that. A bit strange though, like you I mean, know, that's the way I can see it they, making sense. I don't think the conveyance of it really works. Yeah, which is probably why they only did it once. <laughs> yeah. And then immediately went back to Paul Pates for El Pogo. But you do start to get it like you, you do you do like get you know, as long as you know like you have the freedom, that's all matters. Yeah. Though. It's like, guess which crash background this is. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? <laughs> so it was only used twice in crash so we want to use a lot more here. Yeah. Well, under pressure and uh, deep trouble. Yeah, yeah. yeah when you play yeah. this game, you're under pressure. Yeah, like yeah. they just, just copy pasted the background from those levels. Well, they also did it with some musical tracks as well, like Dingo Dale's theme. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Oxy, that, that, that even bastard Oxy stole Dingo Dale's theme. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, Fish Frenzy. Bass Bash. <laughs> yep. Actually, <laughs> it's funny you mention that because I had a summer experience with. Um, when I I I've, um I didn't get to Rings of Power and Crash Three until after I'd already seen Fake Crash's fight in Entrance. Yeah. And because Fake Crash's music in Entrance is the lyrics <laughs> of Rings of Power, <laughs> so when I first played Rings of Power, I think, oh, it sounds like Fake Crash and Entrance. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool, actually. I like that. Yeah. They 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 did good there. Um, Vicarious Visions. So, uh, speaking of which, one of my favorite background changes in this game is when um. It's like Space Bash and the first of challenges no longer Space Bash, it's Egypt Bash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like they completely removed the, <laughs> the theme of the, the name, yeah. No, it's, um, it's Jesus of Nazareth Bash. Because that's the oh, something pretty cool about that, Robert. Yeah. Yeah. Go on the bear background. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, he, he killed himself. <laughs> yeah. Another, another background change that I like quite like is um, NL Pogo Loco, the first challenge. Like, it's, it's the same, like, aesthetic. But like it has that alien sign from Road Crash on the left. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, well, has a great touch. W- welcome Connor David to the uh, oh, to the commentary. Um, oh, oh, thank you. Welcome, uh, thank you. welcome. Uh, but, Hello. But, yeah, oh, welcome to the Crash and Bash. Right? Like the use of that sign is pretty genius as well. And that's how Pogo Loco you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I remember it. The Crash Challenge. Yeah. yeah. Awful level, but um, yeah, that was pretty <laughs> cool. Well, I, it's probably my favorite game because of the Ripper cameo. Yeah, yeah. same. The Twin Sanity model of um, Ripper, like, I feel like it's the clo- the closest, it's nothing like the one in this game at mm-hmm. all. Oh yeah, because it doesn't have the heart. It's only really like close to, like I'd say, the original, mm-hmm. but like, even then it doesn't have the twist on it. Or CTR. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. CTR, too much. Yeah, Because I've been playing that game for an upcoming race. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh, <laughs> see. <laughs> yeah. Lunch? <laughs> he shakes yeah. his head. Yeah. Lunch? We didn't do anything but lunch. <laughs> yeah, we did. We just stood there and watched lunch. 
Which is why she'll make glitches in that game. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, because the um, the whole um like shebang of the um crash cast like the evil ones they all had to like test the game. That was why it turned yeah. out the way it did. And as soon as that happens, like okay, you're free to go now. <laughs> oh, but we don't get a boss fight. No, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like, anybody that plays this game tends to be the weakest link at some point. <laughs> yeah. Who's the player? I mean, let's see, like, so... <laughs> it was not aimed... It was not aimed at me. <laughs> How dare you... Wow, How he's, an imp- he's impressive at uh, delaying the inevitable. Hey, that's Grog's not show. Oh yeah, well, I mean, we were just talking about this, weren't we? Like, he did kill a character, right? One yeah. time in his yeah, yeah, he killed Willy Wonka cheeks and tag. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking legend! He's a murderer. He killed the greatest character in all of Crash. <laughs> He's so cool. Yeah. He's so cool because he killed the greatest character. That's why he never Crash. came back in fucking Nitro <laughs> Fuel? He was too cool for school. That's why he never came back. He... Did he actually come back in the game after that? No. Yeah, exactly. There no, we so go. He, so that's how you know he died. He didn't come back. Yeah, he didn't come back in Nitro Carts 3D or any <laughs> stupid games like that. Yeah. A fucking, I don't know, Nitro Cart on the flip phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the same game where Oxide has his, as I'm all sex egg man to your plastic surgery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I could see now why. Um, I could see now why Yoga wants to do Boom Bang. To be honest, because the character models. Because no one else would. The character models are so icky. They, they deserve a section in this film. They they des- they deserve their time in the spotlight. Yeah. Oh. Especially the one okay. where um Coco's got like uh oh. swing, <laughs> swing, swing, yeah, yeah, swing yeah, arms. Yeah, she looks like a tree. Yeah. It is relevant because Coco is on um Muddy's game and. Uh, looks oh like Coco. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's two fails in a row. Oh, great. I should restart this, actually, because Dingo Dell has two wins. <laughs> and this is the only game I can think of where you can force failure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't even yeah. die my pie, get fucked my pie. <laughs> Did you ever, like, see the instruction manual for this game and where, where it actually says, if you fail, don't worry when your friends are laughing to you because you can always just press replay the game. Yeah. <laughs> I know you'll be doing that a lot. I, 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 <laughs> asshole. I kind of came to the conclusion that sound effects and music are very important to a game experience. And this game is one, and one of the reasons why I believe I am not 200% in this game is because you have failed makes you feel so insignificant to the point know, where right? you end up one to it's like you died you fail the control it, for the it pierces into your soul I, 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 and, and, and it's also so big the writing like you know in all caps you oh failed. my god <laughs> I, I failed like, this I four like, times I just like to imagine the manual for the game is like um, well, if you fail too many times that's okay because you're just gonna have to fucking it you there was a good one in Rodri's screen there where the match was on too long. Press the X button to just force the victory. <laughs> yeah. Press the X. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, they used the positive use of the words. Yeah, Press the X button. Finally, you got it. won one. <laughs> force a victory for who? Oh, the opposing team. Oh, so <laughs> He's really a forgotten character, isn't he, Brother Roo? No, he isn't. Actually, so. Well, he really is. At, at least being oh. with him. For some oh. reason, like, he has two models in Nitro Field. Why? Because he's such a memorable piece of shit oh. character. <laughs> such a memorable character, but yeah, he only appears in one yeah, he, actual like, proper like, game. He's, um, he's the wall. Of the we, we were discussing, like, how Tiny and uh, Dingo Dale should not be on the good side, and it should have been oh. Rillaroo and um, Rio, because Rio's at least more ambiguous. Yeah, uh, Rio, um, yeah, yeah, Rio on the good side would have made more sense because of the Crash 2 dynamic as well. Yeah, exactly. Or... Yeah, and it's although, the only time he's really had that dynamic. To although, we can say that um, uh, you come unintentionally for sure unpredicted Crash Walkers of Dingo Dale. I think Mind Over Mutant kind of carried over that sort of dynamic, but Mind Over Mutant, yeah, so, so yeah. You, you want to like consider it kind of not. Sp- speaking of Dingo Dale, I always thought it was weird how in this one game alone, like, Dingadel sounds nothing like himself. He sounds like a redneck. 
What do you mean? Yo! Yeah, yeah that's not very really accurate to an Australian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's, um, uh, it's very um, um, embedded. Um, Dingo um, dies the name. I'm yeah. not a redneck. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's um, embedded. Uh, um, it's embedded appropriation. And OK, OK, and Dr. Cot, Neil Cot. <laughs> Neil <laughs> Cot. To me, I say, that's why I'm playing Tilt Panic. OK, OK, Cot. Slash on PS1. Yeah. So is anybody uh... going to do the Crystal Challenge for Tilt Panic? <laughs> I swear, if I do not win this no, after can, can failing seven times the now. No. <laughs> no. Wait, what's the ghost of challenge? Oh, there it is. Oh, Cortex almost fell off as well, so he was t he's a failure too. I always like it, um, whenever you, you die in, um, Oh, oh, sorry. Whenever you die, whenever you die in the game, yeah, uh, where, uh, which is often, whenever you fail in a pol pol polar game, if there's like some kind of stop, like some of them will start doing this weird idle animation. Yeah, where they like, and for Cortex yeah. is like, he does this weird like, it's like he's pointing a cue, like no one in particular. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh yeah, like like he's pointing a gun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like, it's like he's doing. Yeah. I just saw it. Yeah. I'll be like, I mean, I'm And then the Dingo Dow is even better because he does the fucking, like, the Tarzan. Unfortunately, the un unfortunately what, what you referenced there is very appropriate for um, Cortex, but yeah. <laughs> you fail. You fail. I mean, that's why I kill one. Because... You fail. Ah, lovely background. Uh, very deep, dark. I, I wonder who it was that, that, that did the. Yeah, now, who, who they announced the voice is for Gosh Bar. You fail. Well, that wasn't the guy from Smash. <laughs> no, it wasn't from Mortal Kombat. It wasn't from Mortal Kombat, it was just a guy. It was just... It wasn't, no, a, guy, it wasn't a guy from Boz. No, if that, if that guy was in Smash Bros. Minecraft Steve wins. <laughs> no, it's not Minecraft Steve, it's um that 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 uh, kid from um, <laughs> Game of the Mr. Game of Watch wins. Like Wolf wins. Wins. Uh, <laughs> it, it wasn't. It wasn't the announcer, unfortunately, from Tekken. <laughs> you win. You lose. Okay, everyone's oh, really getting a weight here. Interesting. I, I like the lighting from the uh, the little eye toy that you see there. Um, yeah, it's like yeah. very like rainbowy. It's nice. It's giving the eyes one basil. Looks like before it existed. Looks like an RGB keyboard. It's nice. Mm, mm. Well, Muddy did the crystal challenge. Amazingly. Two crystal the pain. Same one as you. The one you just got, yeah. <laughs> this is tense. Mm -hmm. I, I believe you're a gem and a crystal ahead now. Don't worry, it'll, it'll change in half a second. It wouldn't be crash box otherwise. Yeah, I I, I failed seven times in a tilt panic on the trophy. <laughs> yes, fun times. Get ready to hell. Up on seven times. Yeah. <laughs> the goal of this is to seven, just you know. understand it. <laughs> the goal is to fail seven times. The Baroness? Oh well, I mean, uh, the, the, I mean, the only bonus you get in this game is the fifth warp room, right? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> you get a bonus warp room, which you still need to collect a, a load of things for to unlock the levels. Great, but you missed three gems. So technically, good, but uh -huh. you need to find more crystals. Technically, this is your spectator debut in the crash. <laughs> yeah, so crash back. <laughs> and that, yeah. oh, it had to be. It had to be this one, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, see, this is what I mean. Like, so, so, um, Muddy's currently like uh, in the yellow portion of the map, but he doesn't need to be. I, but like when I was a kid, like I thought you had to be, yeah, in that spot on the gym, and that was kind of like, yeah, I'm, I misconstrued the significance. Makes things easier, that's for sure. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. It's definitely meant to be more of a guide than anything, yeah. Kind of like keep keep you out of the way of the other twats. What one tactic? 
I love how just like getting four four blocks each time oh, doesn't trick. Times, right? so I mean, <laughs> yeah. just goes off the rails. Advanced strats, you know. Yeah, I know. I know, right? I mean, advanced strats, if you know, like, um, they just stick to the to the to the parts where it's yellow. <laughs> yeah, the, the goal is to is to out RNG the RNG. Just use five percent of the board. That's the strategy. <laughs> well, you see, the thing is, so like, technically, like. If you played Cyber Chase as a kid, like technically your introduction to RNG would be that. <laughs> then uh, I, I, um, I feel, um, feel sorry for you. Mm. Yeah. Right, it's just just came out a year before I got my PlayStation One. Actually, funnily enough. Oh wow! You were spared. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You were saved. You saved me. So I like, scoop. I was saved. Oh, no, a, a year after. Sorry, my bad. Zoic, like, you fail! Zoic's Qualicon. Look, Crash. Yummy snacks, real boy. <laughs> yeah, he is in your corner, like... Yeah, he's got... Like, t- technically, Muddy has more points than you at this point, than he is Qualicon. <laughs> the, the, the shaggy, <laughs> the, the shaggy the voice of Titans, Tiny. Like, I'm very cross with you. What the hell is Rillaroo doing with the most points? <laughs> Well, Rodri's game. Yeah, Bellar is a chain bastard. Oh fuck that guy. They were just popping off. They never fixed him in Nigel. F- no, well, Nigel that, Field, sorry. That, that's why we didn't see him again for a long time because they figured out he was um he was um taking steroid abuse. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. He's the kid. Yeah. So if he did do that, right? Which we're not obviously encouraging it. Just to be clear on that. Um, just look. <laughs> disclaimer. <laughs> it's a joke. Uh. If he did do that, like he didn't do it very well because he never trained his muscles, <laughs> so he just ended up turning to fat. That's what I'm saying. He did it too much, <laughs> so he ended up sagging. Yeah, and no train. <laughs> it went all to his knees. Uh, useless. Coco and Dingo Dollar are winning right now. What? <laughs> yeah, whereas Tiny and Falcon, uh, did it right. Although Rallo does have thick arms and um, nice field. Wow, what an what an, what an impressive achievement! <laughs> they fixed that that um. <laughs> Coco, how do you have 106 up. points halfway through? The thing through? is, like, you can't call a character underrated when they literally like um, went went out of their way to like to, like to go back to the drawing board for fans that like uh, outcried against the original design. <laughs> so no, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> you had to pay him with the proper respect. I don't accept he's underrated for that one reason. <laughs> no, he used to be. Now he, he's acknowledged as he really is. Yeah, an asshole. <laughs> And now, game, now the real one, the one he always the gets the more. He always gets more points than the others. Mm. Normally, hey, Coco, yeah. she got hundred points in the first forty-five seconds. That, that she didn't get any points for the rest of the match. You probably should have just made this game about Rillaroo and sold no mu- sold no games. Rillaroo's um, new adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Rillaroo's bash. Because like, what what is this um, what is this bootleg version Donkey Kong doing on the PlayStation One? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, mum, mum, can we get 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 Donkey Kong? We have Donkey Kong at home. <laughs> yeah, it's on. It's on mm-hmm. the Do- you, you want you want to play yeah, Donkey Kong? Game. Play Crash Bash. <laughs> no, I want the bash. <laughs> I want it. Give it to me. Muddy's showing off with some impressive four, four by four strats there. Yes, I'm, 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 I'm pressing two directional buttons. It's really quite uh, intense stuff. Oh, Coco. She really knows how to pick up the power ups, actually. Coco, you banned a bitch. Whoa. <laughs> It's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. We were all saying it. It's the truth now, son. <laughs> it's true. Ones do have more fun. And she's not got. She's not got the yellow tiles. There's not accurate tile here. It's come up. Oh, and I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Blue. Oh, well. Oh wait. Oh, it's red, actually. Sorry for my bug. So how is Cortex's jetpack supposed to work in terms of working as a pogo <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it burn his feet off? Yeah, that, that, that's not very realistic in my Crash Bandicoot game. 
<laughs> his like his feet are like directly under the, yeah. the fire. Like, what what was this teaching the kids? Yeah, it's teaching the kids uh there's no such things as jetpacks unless you invade area fifty one. Like Crash. Are you doing Crash Re? Thankfully Muddy is out of Pogo to go go. At long last. Just, just the gym, yeah. Joffs. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the spa space bash is the ultimate I'm more of nutrition. It's a fun level, yeah. I love, so, I yeah. love space bash. I'm pretty sure, like, even, even people who Oh, like, it's great. <laughs> right, you come down like, the yeah, hole with like, Doggo. Even the most diehard heroes of Bash will tend to like Space Bash. Except Yoga. Fun fact, um, the when I first got my PlayStation 1, like it, it was like, obviously like the slim model. Um, mm -hmm. Although, wait, no, actually, it wasn't actually. It was the fat model, but it got slim later. Um, and the back of the box, it shows like this level from Crash Bash. Yeah, it specifically. does. Um, and, and, and I was like, what? Because like, I'd seen you play Crash Bandicoot 1. I was like, whoa, like, they had another Crash game. Like, that's really cool. I didn't realize it was the it was like the fucking like fifth one. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was me when you entered your spot. Oh, tiny you asshole! Like, you <laughs> yeah, and then like I'm not I, having finished Space Bash by the way. I think Crash Bash was just coming out when when I got the um PlayStation one, and that was why like it was mm -hmm. advertised at the back of the box. Uh, they did that a lot, and funnily enough, like one of Eurocom's lesser known games came with that uh, console, 40, 40 Winks. <laughs> that's how I even know about that stupid game in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> made by Eurocom. legendary developers of Crash Bash Eurocom, who uh, are allowed to make fair games. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're known to make fair games like Tarzan. And the heck with action games. Merely Heroes barely Tale. scratch. Uh, really a scratch. I think they made. I think they made one of the James Bond games. Yeah, <laughs> they did that. Yeah, I think. I think they did. Yeah, <laughs> For one of them. I, I don't know which, which one. one it was, but what? What, um, uh, what a diverse set of talents. I know, right? James Bond, Crash Bash, Forty Links. <laughs> I think it would have been funny if like every Cut game the they ever made, they always had the 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 um action game like subtitle. So it's like. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot's action game featuring Crash. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, Why Wink. would they think that was a good idea? All right, Foy Wings uh, action game featuring Rough and Tumble. <laughs> that was actually what it was called in another country, yeah. Yeah, I know. It was called that. That's the weird thing. <laughs> All right, James Bond action game featuring James well, Bond. Well, let's not forget, like, in 2019, <laughs> like, a successful kick, like, fundraiser, like, uh, for the game, like, on Kickstarter, like, actually happens to get it out in the N64 and they actually like succeed even though all they literally did was just pour a ROM on the fucking cat. Yep. That's all they did. And it, and it sold like so much money because people wanted the N64 game. They didn't care the quality. They just wanted yeah. to play a Tarzan game where you can use the knife. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even have a knife in it. <laughs> well it has a saw. Which means it's better than the knife in the PS1. <laughs> You got a samurai. You got a like samurai sword, I guess. Not a half for you, guys. Well, you see, I've seen that. They just kick the team. I like it after a while, like like tiny, like tiny, uh, uh, like um, like um, like um, stand animation. Just it's like he's finished with life. <laughs> I've achieved all I wanted to. Yeah, he has. Now he's dead. <laughs> I don't know why, like, after he's, like, walking for a bit, he just stands there, it's like, he's ready to, like, oh, what haircut do you want, and he just fucked my shot. Yeah. And, then, and then he goes back to walking, he does that fucking, like, um, rapping dog and Titanic walk. Oh, no, not that. Oh, no. Yeah, to be clear, like, the animated Titanic, not, not the actual film. No. Yeah, oh, that one, not the other one. And it's called Titanic, I think, actually. Because there was fucking two of them for some reason. <laughs> so disturbing that that even exists. <laughs> why? Is that, like, that's the why you were so good about doing that. It's called The Legend Continues. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It died along with the with the ship. <laughs> now, do, you, do you think the people who made that film think um like well, um, well, he's dead now? So yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Do you think the people who made um uh, the Legend Continues 
uh, do you think they're the same kind of people who think um, the Legend of Zelda games are based on a uh, fact? <laughs> yes. Because they think Legend means the same thing as a uh, fact. I don't remember Rap and Dog being Legend of Zelda. <laughs> In fact, the ship is no. But yeah, like, good, good, good comparison. Like, he has, like, that dog. <laughs> it has, like, stock. And by the way, like, that's stock animation. <laughs> That's a shame because the rest of the animation in that film was really good. <laughs> it was all stock. I was really let down by one part. The rest all, of the movie was great. It was all, it was all stock animation and phone them voice. Like. And just ripping off various Disney films. Oh, cool. Here we go. Like the first uh, tank. <laughs> then you guys just crash bash. I know. I I'm so never, sorry. It's never over with Crash Bash. Can't you ever let well, where's me win? Mo- where's Muddy no. actually at the moment? What do I'm you doing the crystal challenge for Eurocom? Dash. Waiting for the AI to yeet themselves. I'm waiting for the AI to um, throw James L. Cash at the end of Manor. <laughs> I'm not Coco, yeet yourself, please. That's always oh, the killer. Did someone die in Crash Bar? Uh, I'll say great job, Roger, because just like where I is right now. I think, like, I think Muddy's like a crystal dying or something like that. That right. guy will change in half a second. I think that's how far behind I am. Come on, go, go stop running circles. <laughs> He's running far, circles please. around you. <laughs> Stop ganging up on me! You're not my fucking oh, mother! Me, okay, you're gonna me now! There we go. <laughs> Why are you not cast that from the room? Oh wait, you're too young. I'm fucking 11 years old. <laughs> 11 years old, dude. Yeah, I remember like in that the, the, that film, The Room, when they're like, uh, everybody was in the, the audience and they're like, when Denny ate the apple, they all fucking Yeah, everyone, everyone had a round of applause <laughs> for some reason. Like, yes. can you imagine that? Like, they'd love Crash Bandicoot because all he does is eat one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they're the kind of people who would um, just call up and then Crash Bash fans go, they're not apples, they're not apples. Do we, do we feel like Emily like loves Crash and she's called it apples a few times? So, oh, oh shit, 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 my head. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't believe you'd make such a, a rookie mistake in the Crash IP. Oh, yeah, it's such a shame, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> asshole, <laughs> everyone was targeting me. No, no, Muddy's, no. Muddy's review tagline, uh, there's such assholes at the beginning of the Desert Rocks, everybody's trying to get them. You now, I know earlier I was saying, they are assholes. I know earlier on I was saying how I like it when the, the says Ray Lou's name because it makes it sound like it's disappointed. Whereas by contrast, when it says, Ding- when it says Dingadile's name, it sounds like a surprise, like it wasn't expecting to win, like, Dingadile wins. Mm-hmm. But oh, he won, that's nice. <laughs> Tiny. Yeah. I, I, didn't think, I didn't think he was capable. <laughs> they go die in match. Well, it goes back to Rue. Rue wins again. Well, Rue wins. This twat wins. <laughs> so I just exited and went back in to reset the AI wins, so. <laughs> that, that tells you. <laughs> oh. Maybe the answer for Grash Bash. Like, uh, like before the announcer, before the announcer like says something, he like quickly like it, like inhales a special bone. You go in news. Usually, uh, he talks like this. Uh, uh, you win. Win. Yeah, still win. <gasps> Crash wins. Also wins. That's Crash Bash. We got Crash Bash, folks. Crash Bash is the real winner. Eurocom wins for taking your money. <laughs> and laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah, I, I liked... I, I imagine Eurocom were very pleased and um, people didn't find out about the, um, the whole game being in Year of the Dragon to a year later. Oh yeah, that's true. Like the whole That's actually a good point to bring up. Uh, yeah, th- this whole game is actually coded into Spar 3. The whole thing. Yeah. 
So they, so what does that mean? If, well, if they had things out by the time, it means there'd be no sales. It means that there are other tanks besides me. You don't need to buy this game. (laughs) (laughs) You don't need to buy this game. Yeah. Oh. In the first place, in the first place, should be be trying to find a loophole. Remember, and they did do an exhibition race in this game, but it was through. um, it was yeah, through spiral free, yeah. Oh yeah, they used a spiral. There was a like a cheat code. There's a weak hole you can use, and then yep. they just and use I, that. And like as Casey says, it actually has the full game on. Yeah, it's no like, like I don't know how you access it, but it's like um yeah, it's possible to get the whole game. And um, I would imagine. Luckily, people shot. didn't find out about it until a year after the fact. But um, if they had known about it at the time, uh, there would be a lot of sales <laughs> because they wouldn't have need to bought the game because the whole game is right yeah. here near the dragon. <laughs> well, you get two games in one. Yeah, it's like Sophie and Knuckles. <laughs> Like Sparfy and Crash Bash. Mm-hmm. Except in this case, like all it's doing is reduce the need to get a scam. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas at least with Sonic and Knuckles, like you had to buy the two cartridges regardless. Yeah, it's like I, I think I'll go back to my preferred game, Crash Boom Bang. <laughs> Best Crash yeah, Bang game, clearly. It's kind of like it's kind of like one of those games that like scratches a sadistic gaming itch. As, I, as I've called, said about Rockman 40 as well. <laughs> Pepsi Man. Yes. Well, no, not quite. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> that game is too short to be considered something that I'd... Yeah, but it feels <sighs> like it's longer. Yeah. Oh, uh, hey, yeah, look, Connor, uh, it's that boss. Still got to do this. Yeah, the I was going to say, yeah, I agree. I'm not a fan of the, the boss in Cybertruce either. The boss we want to say. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. The Panda Virus looks very different. Yeah, the the one that I'm I'm still surprised I didn't die to. Aye, the Phantom Virus is wearing a, a wee hat and he's uh, my white yeah. coat. <laughs> yeah. As opposed to riding on this thing. Yeah. Tedious. Yeah. The, the, the bear mania. The problem is like um when the three of when the three mechanical bears come out the the um the plateau that you're on becomes so small. Yeah. It's almost yeah. impossible to avoid them so So again, like Simon. <laughs> Yeah, because, like, well, you found a trick in that, didn't you? What, the snow, the last snowball he throws, he always throws yeah. it in the exact same direction, so you can actually, like, go yeah, to the left yeah, and the I, right. I went to the side of him and crouched the whole time, and then when he throws the last one, apparently that, that it seems that one always goes forward anyway, so you'd have to bother with that one. Damn, if only that. Yeah, we're here. All right, carry on. Oh, rewind. You fail. Yeah, I will see. Yeah, I will. See. Oh yeah, they get two or three. Terminator. Tiny, Here we go. Yeah, one. I agree. I will say though that um, I- we're close. Wow. <laughs> That's not to say the reticle's that useful, though. Nah, that's true, but at least it doesn't exist. Yeah. It's better than nothing like mine, number nine. <laughs> oh! Yes. Yeah. Alright, okay, okay. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that somebody watched you in the nuts there, Roger, sorry about that. Oh, I'm well on top of the Crash Crash bosses. I always like how... No, going back to what I was saying earlier about how Tiny, Call of Bong, and Quarks and Beale clearly have the better projectiles in the tank mini games. It seems that at some point you'll come realize that for themselves because those are the projectiles that come all brochures. What fucking maniac decided? Oh, hey, let's just give it to the guys that makes the different games. Know. <laughs> yeah, they were the ones that decided. Well, that's your impression. They were the ones that decided on their own ownership of this game. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they um, they have their first in pens, first bear, first test, and right, the right, left. So that was the thing, like. The only intellectual property they ever made that was completely unique was actually 40 Winks, unfortunately. No, that's a sad fact of the matter. Could have been mission nutrition. Yeah, exactly.
Koala is the superior bear. Mm -hmm. Except he's not a bear, he's a koala. <laughs> You fail. Uh, Anvilism is going to contain all their rage, though. <laughs> yeah, what a fun level. I've been waiting for this one. Like, like honestly, everything up to this point really hasn't mattered. It all that matters is Anvilism. <laughs> This is the fun bar, so let's game. <laughs> this would aside for Ron. It does, yeah. Actually, really. You well. fail. So, so if, if you just consider our uh, Bear to be the worst boss thing, which one you, would you say is the quote unquote best one? <laughs> Tiny, let one in, please. Please, Tiny, you, you, have, a, you have a net, you know. So you can let them in. Like, You're oh, allowed to do that. that. Like, we can all admit that boss is pretty flawed. <laughs> you fail. I always have to work. Rage is always justified. Game. <laughs> well, I gotta go watch again now. Let's go again. And clunk. You fail. Oh, FFS. <laughs> You fail. What epic game is that? Oh, <laughs> what uh, epic game is that? So, sorry, this game I'm referring to, of course. <laughs> not. <laughs> the loading does get kind of annoying, though, even though it's not that long. It seems yeah. to get, uh, even as a kid, I always don't think it seems to get longer with each walk. Yeah. Because, like, in the walk room one, like, it'll last, like, a couple seconds, and by the time you're in the last walk room, it's like, a lot longer. Well, that's the thing. By the time I got to like Rafa Cortex, I was kind of used to like yeah, that golden screen. To be honest, yeah. At least, at least Rafa Cortex is that funky. Bam, 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 bam. To be fair, like depending on what disc you had of CTR, like it could actually load pretty slowly as well. Yeah. Um, because obviously, like back then, consoles weren't perfect, and so therefore, like <laughs> they you have to rely on the driver. Yeah, basically. No, no, like now it is in our right, Xbox One. <laughs> PSTV. Is it? You see, the problem with consoles back then is that they weren't made by Soldier Boy. <laughs> <laughs> but they couldn't see into the future, basically. You come as a cadet in the cold mine. I don't even know when. I don't even know when they actually died as a company. Went to liquidation. I don't even know when that actually happened. I guess it was probably like shortly after Heroes Tale. Thanks, Heroes Tale. <laughs> Well, or, or Golden IDS. Oh, I feel like they did Golden IDS. I feel like they did, actually. Something tells me it's good. Thanks, Heels <laughs> I'm going to keep saying Heels I mean, my main, my main problem with that game is it's nice. too long. For the wrong reasons. It's only like, it's only like four worlds, though, really. Yeah, no, I, I don't mind. I don't mind a lengthy game if it's for the right reasons. So basically, because we've got four worlds, it's kind of like yeah, it's it's yeah, it's yeah. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's like like blatant you, pardon, you're only one embolism round behind me. So oh, like, <laughs> just one embolism fail puts us on even ground again. Must be like an you're, that you're last only one though. round behind me. So yeah, what? This this one. This one. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Great. I'm starting three balls behind. Fantastic.
<laughs> so, so since um Tiny's in one and Kong's in the other, does that mean they're, they're sort of race away with a tiebreaker? Like mm. in the actual game? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. one's good and one's evil. <laughs> that That's all it is. So, like, and I, it really does make me want, want to see somebody try and do that, like, whether they do, like, multiplayer, like, evil and good on the parsec. And see how yeah. they're all worth it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, do you know what the best part is? The music they use for the tiebreaker is the Papa Papa music. Oh. I'd agree, actually, yeah. At least, at least them vanilla sky balls. Again, it's like what I was saying earlier about Toxic Dash, how I always had trouble with Toxic Dash than the, the two that came after. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the monster. Yeah, like, it wasn't even that itself that um, would get me from, it's the fact that, like, because there's bows all over the place and because yeah, of the, the camera angle, it means that there'll be a lot of times where you think you're moving around and be like, nope, the headbox registered. Mm-hmm. So you basically have to like brute force your way through them so that they're gone like early on. Oh, I don't know how I clutched that. Holy shit. <laughs> it's all clutching in this game. Well, I, I know how I clutched it. I got you a bunch of energy and got the make. It's nice. <laughs> Uh, Gorilla Roo wins. Gorilla Roo wins. wins. Let's try it again. I've had that one time where like, I got two trophies in a mini game, and then it ended up that um, one of the characters just randomly decided to have a difficulty spike and become a much harder. So they ended up actually winning the enemy. Mm-hmm. So they ended up wasting a lot of time, so we might as well just exit, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like something Gorilla Roo would do. No, it sounds like something he was designed to do because he's like an intellectual property of probably you, come. <laughs> Potentially. Yeah, it's like. like well, Yurikon doesn't be- even exist anymore, right? <laughs> it's like. No. Yeah, it's like. I just like to imagine when Beanox, like, like, I'm more than, like, requested him in Nature Fields. Like, they had to, like, get, like, whoever was responsible for um, starring Yurikon. No, well, Yurikon was a dead company at this point. Yeah, dead like, 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 Mr. Yurikon, uh, can we get um, the royalty fees for the, the character of Real Group and Crash Bash on PS1? Probably Atari or something like that, yeah. I would imagine. Because hmm. I, I feel like that's a familiar name that we dissolve into. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, was, I was a bit confused about it. It's like, well, I don't know a company called Atari. No, there is one called Atari still, yeah. So yeah, but also like the old thing of the court. Ah! Yeah, <laughs> if, they thought, you if they were actually born in the <laughs> Yeah, if you remember E.T. Pretty much. The most infamous game is the only one that's known. Oh, I think it did have a version of Donkey Kong, actually, I'm not mistaken. A really shit one. That was a swan song. Hmm. It's such a good ballerina, that um, engine. Hmm. I'm surprised he knows how to bounce with that fucking metal on his head. This is not the first time I did commentary over Crash Pass as well. I did it in GR. There was a GRE race for this as well. Which, oddly enough, like, the. Yeah. <laughs> of course. There's a GR yeah, race yeah, four game. people in it. It had to happen. One of those people is uh, an egregious character, <laughs> but um, no longer there. But uh, I remember, like, it was Looper was the one that was pegged to win, and he didn't because, um, again, he got, he got bad luck in embolism. Hmm. But yeah. Oko, you can please let a ball in. Thank you. <laughs> you can please concede one. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny when you watch the two streams and you see 
At the other side, at the left side, there's um, Cortex at the top of the screen. At the, at the other side is Coco, the person who he cosplayed as in Edwin one side. And uh, yeah. Oh, oh, thanks, Magnus. Thanks for despawning. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Diego Dell has two wins now. Oh, no. really, he just looks really fucking dumb in this game, to be honest. I, I can't explain it. Mm-hmm. The, the way he dances about with his wee gun when he gets, uh. <laughs> when, he, uh when he wins. It's all one for one. Still not happens. Force, force victory just to see him dance with his That's the X button for the force victory. Uh, like, anybody else wins? Like, uh, oh, M- Embryo or oh, Falcon? Oh, yay! Gortex! Let's see him do a stupid wee dance. Yeah. Where if Dingo Della wins, I am going to be not a happy camper. <laughs> you don't want to see him raising his arms in the air. Yeah, especially for the third time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, like, literally, like, he is in the same place as... Why is he keeping um, the back this to you? No one does. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You fucked up, yoga. I'm gonna do it. You fucked up. I'm Very gonna so do it. Hello, it is me, Yoga Monio. I have uh, invaded okay. this race, assuming this race is still going on. Oh, I don't care so much, It's going. Bo- that was the most bored sound in Alo and Cross of the Hill. Anyways, anyone? No, I have to like gosh, gosh, and into. I will like the one crystal fresh of the all right, it's 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 happening, guys. Crash Bash stinks. My berries yes. fried. Yes. Make yourself useful, big friend, and bring an extra berry yes, for me. It does. Oh, thank God! Someone thank else God. said it. Uh, I Crash mean, Bash, very quashed of you. <laughs> I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna join. I'm notoriously a a a, a, a hater. Um, but you guys are still going. Uh, so, you know. You're um, anti-crash bash. It's okay. Uh, you don't yes. have to get cocked by Adrian. Then you can get cocked by Okoko. <laughs> now, I hate, I hate to ask so late into the run, but what in God's name is this goal? Uh, get all the Survive. trophies in the third warp room. Whoa, Muddy. Did you get a new microphone? You sound... Yes, I did, in fact. Oh! The, he's the so goal. clear now! Huh! He sounds a bit... <laughs> He's so hot now. He ah! sounds a, sounds a bit less muddy. Nah, but it's like uh, it's interesting. Uh, it's, uh, I'm not. I'm not used to hearing such a no, no, such no. a clear sounding muddy. <laughs> well, that's your treat for the day. You know what? I think at least it fixed the, the other elephant in the room, which which might in fact be the game you're currently playing. Uh, but yeah. Yes. Um so how how are the how are the runners doing though? How are they feeling? <laughs> All right, so uh how's everybody doing okay. today? <laughs> hey yeah, I mean, guys. I don't even I'm not even like happy for the sake of the run the fact that I finished Envelism. I'm just happy that I don't have to play Envelism anymore. <laughs> So, I so can I get a confirmation a then? Both runners regret doing Crash Bash. I mean, we, I regretted it before we even started. But <laughs> you Bob, do you regret playing? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> Everything else is fine. Uh, I think the trick is to uh, be standing near the edge of the platform when they uh, shoot the three bears. Because I've like never had problems with Bearminator, honestly. <laughs> you guys want to know? Uh, I this is this. So this is a story I love telling everyone. Um, so when I was a kid, right? Uh, I, I really wanted to, to, to win Crash Bash. I wanted to, to beat it. 
Um, but I do you ever to... actually win Crash Bash or does? Uh, no, I never <laughs> did. But I wanted to. But I wanted to finish the campaign mode, right? Like I wanted to to properly win and finish it. But even if you I finish it, though, do, it do you myself. really win? No, there are no winners. Yes, <laughs> there are only you, you, can win, you can only win by not playing. But Probably but yeah, no. Uh, there there was a friend that I would always like. We I'd, I'd invite you. over and be like, "Yo, you want to stay over for the night?" And then like we'd stay over, and, I, and then I'd be like, "All right, dude, we got we got to do crash bash." Uh, and then he was no longer your friend. Do we? Do we? Uh, have to? No, we're we're still friends. Uh, you know, uh, I I don't ever tell tell him about those days. I have a feeling he might have uh, took him out of his his memory bank. Uh, so is, is that friend's respect. name by any chance Billy Mitchell? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> you fail. Uh, so uh, I'm just gonna not pay attention to the to the game. I mean, instead, I'm going to Good pay idea. attention to the to the beautiful people in this call right now. Um, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I was gonna say hey, how how so how are you all feeling? But I remember I already said that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like how's it go? I've already asked that question. Yeah, I'm losing the will to live, Bob. <laughs> But yeah, holy moly! Um, what a what a ride! What an experience! Because um, I think after us, so I'll I'll wash the taste away by playing some boom bang. Hey, dude, boom bang is at least like you could just spam Damn. the A button and you could still possibly win. <laughs> no, no, it's an easy way to win the game by turning off. Yes, <laughs> I mean you say that, but you can't act. If I'm not mistaken, you can't actually win by doing that, which is really funny. Therefore, it's the best. Or, game or at least by that. like closing your console or letting it like kind of play. You can just like... autoplay, yeah. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Some, it's, it's the perfect game for Fraser. He's uh, good, yeah, he's, he's got a boom, boom, bang now. I'm good, boom, <laughs> bang. I know, I know, right? But yeah, no, uh, boom, bang. it's it's funny because I was uh, I was testing out boom, bang the other day for some um, reason. <laughs> uh, well, it's because me and uh, me, me and my good friend Manning's doctor intend on making a little, little fun video where we're actually just gonna let the game autoplay and see who can get the furthest. Because if we were put together in the same group, that's what we planned on doing. <laughs> that's what we would be doing if we were together. Oh my god! <laughs> Everyone's yelling. Everyone's realizing the game is poopy. <laughs> when didn't they realize? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's funny because Muddy was like, "I realized I mean, pa- it from the pa- start." Pa- <laughs> pa- is, pa- pa- is some people just have this gluttony for punishment. <laughs> yes. You know what I think? Right you know what I think it truly is. And and you know what? This is fine. I get it. I understand it. A it lot works. of people play this game when they were younger like me and they remember really enjoying it because maybe they just played it a lot or something right and then and then the realization is is that like they they play it as an adult and then they're like wait a minute (laughs) this game kind of (laughs) sucks i love that for casey like this realize and then all years they're not good at games (laughs) Well, it's not even that they're not good at games, but it's just like there's just the moment, you know, that they, they you, you sort of like reflect, and you're like, "I'm gonna play Crash Bash," and then you play it, and then you're like, "I don't like this game." See, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, a lot of people think the co-op improves. It actually makes it worse because <laughs> some of the challenges. Oh are yeah, yeah, yeah it, it can make things harder by making it even harder. Yeah, it was not. We tried to do it like a few months ago. It was not a fun. Experience. Yeah, again, time change wasn't. Yeah, but we. We're trying to get some time on a fucking better copy of the game. Because <laughs> it was on PAL and it's significantly slow. Obviously. Yeah, I- I'm sure the 5% speed will make all the difference. Yeah, I wonder. I Honestly, this <laughs> oh, game no. does teach life-, life lessons. It does teach you patience. <laughs> Endurance. <laughs> for better or for worse. <laughs> it-, it-, it teaches you uh, anger Humanity. management. Uh, it does not teach you anger management. I can uh, I can assure you. The more you play it, the, the but, more it will break you. <laughs> well, <laughs> what is worse? Remember in order to learn to manage anger, life, you but... need to experience anger, and oh this God. game will have you because experience you are like anger. The, you are on the right side, of the, and that's for some reason harder when you're on the right side yeah. of the. 
yeah, thing on the court. Yeah, you are correct there. But at least you guys aren't uh, needing to go, you know, too, too far, I guess. <laughs> to, yeah. to at least make you feel a little better. <laughs> I mean, we've, we've already gone too far. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, you know, it makes me really glad that, you know, I join I join a, a race where somebody is playing Crash Bash. And, and I'm not the only one that's like, fuck this game. <laughs> It, it makes me feel a little better. <laughs> you you have uh, an I, ally. I, I, I'm the the fod pies. Like I still like it, but fuck it also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like that ambivalent sort of like you it's know the the, the draw to a man. It's like it's like it's like it's like your ex, like you know, like <laughs> basically, <laughs> like you can get uh, on with them. But, yeah, yeah. yeah sh sure thing, Marcus. You fail. I like how the AI and Snowbath just like they all instantly just try to wake up. Of course, I'm just joking about it. They're all just trolls. <laughs> I guess yeah, like yeah. How, it's like how in the tank May games, like as soon as the countdown starts, they all start aiming towards you. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. It's like you know, mm, me and Lucas has to do the tie of just joking. That's a joke. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. <laughs> when me and um, Mr. Mayo Doctor uh, did did an entire you let's fail. play of two hundred one percent, we cheated after a while. <laughs> oh, so you were really not How could you? Uh, yeah, we 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 uh, memory manipulates the game. Uh, it's actually kind of fun to memory manipulate <laughs> because there's a lot of weird things that happen. Or you could just instantly win. Well, well, enough like. Uh, the memory manipulation is actually a category on speedruns.com, yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, that's but, fair, because obviously you're going to have the people that want to They can't be actually playing the game. Yeah, well, well, yeah, that's true, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I can't be bothered, so. <laughs> Which is why I'm doing it right now. Uh, what, what, you're playing the game right now? In your mind? So, so Bobblethink said he, once he got to what was it, the second warp room boss, that's when he truly realized he regretted it. Um, did you regret it from the very start, uh, uh, Mister Mister uh, Muddy Maestro? Yeah, I, I did. I mean, for what it's worth, uh, Mister Bobblethink <laughs> was uh, definitely uh, commanding the run up to that point. I mean, it's Crash Bash. Uh, RNG can happen. There, there is some skill, but I, I, I like, I, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll just do that. The joke that I always do. It's all luck. <laughs> I, I love how when you get the slow motion in the Bash games, like you don't even actually go in slow motion. They just like half the frames that your character is like running at. Oh yeah. <laughs> it is it is pretty funny. I, I do like that. I like it quite a bit. Kind of oh. Yeah, so many people I think still are are begging for this game to be remade, and I'm I'm still <laughs> questioning why. <laughs> yes, they want it to suffer. Yeah, well, I mean, like the thing is, like if they did have to remake this game, they'd have to make it like less suffering. <laughs> they, they would have to like <laughs> kind of do the insane trilogy thing that was like they made it, things easier. Hashtag oh. This is where I can do a little fun fact for you, Bobbledink. Did you know that Rillaroo has a one-frame advantage on the pogo stages? So wow. technically, yep, that's that's already, we already covered that, like, in Oh, hours. okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, we, <laughs> like, like, ten hours ago. Yeah, no, we, it's been about an hour and a half, <laughs> so, yeah. Actually, oh, I died. I was wondering where my character was. <laughs> Well, you know what? At least, at least he's in the know then. That, uh, that R or the Rilla is in fact a cheater. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, all of them are cheaters. Then, the platinum Rilla stages. Oh yeah. Do that again. Do that again. Did you know that in Spyro he was originally green, but they thought he blend with grass, and they made him purple? Whoa! I'll be honest. A green Spyro with the model and given would not look that appealing. So I'm, I'm curious yeah. to what their thought process it, it was. It would look like gunk. Yeah, it would look like gunk. kind of booger colored. <laughs> it would look all yeah. too still from my life. Yeah, a little, a little too much like a booger. <laughs> It is, it is in, I love knowing these little like fun facts, but it is like sort of interesting when you think about when they're like, 
yeah, I want this character to be this color. And then you kind of think about it, and you're like, but why? Kind of like uh, like Kirby was, orig- like, uh, Miyamoto wanted him to be yellow, I think, or whatever. That's like how, um, it's like how the reason why Mario has a hat and moustache is because they can, like, <laughs> either they couldn't do it, they couldn't be asked, like, giving them hair or, like, a, fa- a facial expression for his NES, like, or a yep. old model. Because his plate was shaped. Yeah. <laughs> so they thought, we're just giving him a hat and moustache to cover it. <laughs> yeah, and little... then it stays forever. <laughs> and then it stays forever, and uh, now um, Ron Jeremy's in jail. <laughs> oh, oh, geez. <laughs> you might remember uh, him from um, a porno. <laughs> <laughs> yep, uh, it, it's due. It's due to him that Nintendo own official rights to pornography. Yeah, yeah. They, they, I, I bet you, like, <laughs> yes. that, that isn't the only reason why they own the rights to it, so no one can publish. <laughs> yes, that that is that is what they did. <laughs> That's like the the old version of um um. Please don't do that. But but he's so cool. <laughs> yeah, he's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. I love all these like random just like. Oh yeah, I did. Going Jeremy like things. was like this this Steven who's done all these things throughout the years. He does a Mario a, like a Mario pun. And that's like no no that's not 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 that's <laughs> Mario, Mario, Luigi, Mario. He's right up there. Flight, Luigi, flight. Mario. Dude, it's crazy because in the in the the crawling race that happened, uh, they there was um. What's oh, it that called? actually happened. We we were talking hours. about the Mario movie from back in the day and all that sort of shit, and now and now it's coming full circle. <laughs> it's like like just runs are just constantly talking about the like the Mario movie or the, the upcoming one or the old one. <laughs> no, it's like I just like to imagine like someone's like editing that that recording, and every time someone mentions Mario, movie, like like someone has dead in nineteen eighty three or. 2022. So it's like, uh, oh, I, uh, I don't mind the Mario movie. 1983. <laughs> uh, I'm not so sure about the Mario movie. 2022. Yeah, There's too many of the think... things. It's like, it's like, oh, I really like Mario. There's only three. <laughs> I love Mario. Yeah, no. oh, Hoskins. <laughs> oh, jeez. I, I feel like uh, uh, we're going to get banned eventually. Because uh, so, so this is that, supposed um, to be a Sony channel. How are you alive? Oh, wait, no, you're dead. Yeah, that's just true. <laughs> Nintendo Power. So I'm I don't know why, but I thought you were Koala Con. And that's because I got confused. I wait thought Bubble Dink was just alive. Wait, wait a minute, Roger. No. Like, how did you survive that? You were, like, on the, on, on the balls of death there. I'm curious as well. Okay, like, thankfully had, Metal one, Fox was one, merciful. You had one sliver of HP left. <laughs> I'm really and, bad at the tanks. One more trophy. So the crawling race, it's, um, it's so you, okay. So you said it was on um, five hours, then. So that's still less ten to complete us game. It, so it's so it's okay. Oh, there we go. There's the cortex dance. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> just just think it's of like, it like this. Both of you he... guys lost for playing the game. Think about it like that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's, it's also, true. The way the way cortex dances in this game is like the way reptile walks. <laughs> so, oh. Yeah, it's got reptiles animation. Yeah, they draw a story from Spider. <laughs> Wow, you're a comma really lazy with the other this game. Well, I tried. Uh. See, the, the thing that gets me, though, is like, you're, this is not the first time Unicom's made a game unfairly hard. <laughs> I mean, that's, that, that was the modus operandi. Yeah. Also, like, when's that 40 Wink speedrun happening? Angus, like, posted it. There was oh, an app. Where's it fucking yeah, I'm curious about it. That's Unicom's that masterpiece of yeah, course. Yeah. Forty no, wanks. It's, oh no, I mean it's wanks, crazy. Forty wanks as Eurocom launch Arabia. It's crazy because I, I feel like Eurocom has made mostly like bad games than like tie-in games, but every it's now and again, yes. they 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 make a good game. Like they made Sphinx well, and the Cursed Mummy. Why why you say something so so <laughs> it, It's it's just so weird how. Every now and again, they come in and they make something fine. I, I think I mean, they made that yeah. that like we Dead Space game, and that game was pretty decent. It's like it's crazy. Well, yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah, and I think they did do a James Bond game. But I'm not sure which one it was. Um, I feel like it's called My DS. You want to check that? Which yeah. one? Yeah, I'll, I'll look up. Uh, I have I have their page yeah. open actually right now. What, what were we talking about? Which game? 
Uh, they did a James Bond game. I'm just not sure which one it was. Uh, they did James Bond. They did Nightfire for the GameCube. Oh, that's um, actually a good game. Yeah, yeah that's a good. That's a that's a good <laughs> one. <laughs> that's a well, well, even the blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. And then yeah, they... yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Because the ending was fucking terrible. You fail. A game. There's these action game featuring Hercules. Why? Okay, welcome I'm back. Uh, welcome back, Roger. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, uh, there he is, he's back. Uh, Rodri, uh, muddy finished. Oh, you missed a great part. Yeah, you, you missed the bit with um, muddy one. M muddy finished. Yeah, you can stop suffering. <laughs> oh, good. I mean, I would not say GG, but. <laughs> <laughs> a good game in the uh, no, sportsmanship sense. M 